Welcome back to Calling. In the last one, we were Shio, and I'm hoping they moved on or went back home. I really do. <laughs> I hope that's the last time we see them because I don't want anything bad to happen to them. And apparently, neither does the little girl ghost. So let's just continue and see what's going on. Hello? See? I think we can enter through here. Hey, are we really going inside? Isn't this trespassing? Are you scared or something? Whatever. Don't blame me if you get hurt. We're just going to take a quick photo. This old building has great atmosphere. We should document it before it gets torn down. This is the place, right? From five years ago? Yeah. The place where all the patients and hospital staff started dying. One after the other. They never figured out the cause of death, right? It was supposedly, supposedly an outbreak within the hospital, but I've heard that it was a curse, too. Are, are you serious? Bring that a little closer. The lament... The lamentation? Rin Kagura. Our main girl. Our main girl, Rin. Kyoko Rabin. Oh, that sounds familiar. Also, it's raining outside. And it's dark out. So, I feel like this is the perfect time to play this game. But also, you know, if you hear rain. It's not. There we go, now it's reaching the top. To back up a little bit. Yeah. Go over here too. <laughs> Alright, so what are we, where are we, what are we doing? So this is the box we opened. Not last time, but I think the time before. There's nothing inside. Wait, was there really, did we spend all that time solving that and there's nothing inside? Are you serious? It's a low qual. it's a low height dresser. There's something over the mirror. Which means that, unless that's not a mirror. I think that's a mirror. Which means, uh, someone has died recently. The fuck is that? Okay, what up? Don't pay attention to the giant bone in there. Nothing? I'm gonna be honest, I actually really enjoy how this game controls. I've seen one, I've seen a, in, a newer indie game that controls a little bit like this. In the sense that it's kind of point and click, but also free moving. I I think I want to play it. It's like Anthology of Fear or something. I I wish I could read those. Is this something? Okay. Hello? Are they in the other room? I don't know what- Were you in this room? Wish I can open that. I don't know what that was. <laughs> what was that? 
spooky ghosts. If you're gonna be spooky, do it in front of my face. I wanna see you be spooky. Wait, did we get a... This wasn't last chapter, so I'm not sure what we're supposed to be doing. Oh, hello. Okay, well... Let's try going to... Well... Let's try calling Makoto. Eight six two, and then five four two. Five four two. I don't know why you gave us his number. He never answers, like ever. Eight six. Oh, that one's working. Where is this going to lead? Ooh. Oh, the candle burned out. The candle. Now what? I need to find some light. keep ending up without a light and it sucks. I'm guessing we're not going to find a flashlight. We need to find batteries because we already have a flashlight on us. Or we're just going to start some stuff on fire. Oh god, we're not we're not doing okay. We're in slight panic mode. Are we at the hospital? Huh? Over here? Ah. You obtained cell phone. I wanted to help. I wanted to help her. Help who? Oh. Uh. Oh yeah, we gotta look around like this. Oh, the nurse. The nurse? Okay, so <laughs> we gotta write down stuff. Alright, let's flo uh, follow. Let's follow Kyoko. I forgot I gotta actually open the door. Hello? Huh? We're not gonna do too much exploring. Yet. Uh, this I okay we're we're in the hospital where you can't see well in the darkness we're gonna fall down that <laughs> we're gonna fall down that like for sure She's the nurse, so... She's in the nurse's station? I think this is the one that had the laptop in it. The pink laptop. I don't really need the phone. No, it was a different floor. What's that? Huh? Yeah, but what the fuck is that? Why is... You can't see well in the darkness, the light's on. Why is there a fucking saw, a jigsaw doll in here? Kyoko's Diary, one. April 1st. I went to greet my patient. Her name is Raiko Asagiri. She answered all of my questions, but she seemed very quiet and withdrawn. It doesn't look like she's getting along with the other children. Maybe she's nervous. I'm going to try to do my best to improve Raiko's experience here. Hmm. It's a photograph. A photo of a girl. The weird, the creepy doll's gonna move. That ghost. Ah! Sorry. That ghost, it was this nurse. This child?
The story is coming together nicely. Is that ghost? This child? Yes. I wonder what she was in the hospital for. And I wonder if we died when we got hit by the car. Reiko Asagiri? Okay, I was expecting that thing to turn. Not turn, just like move in general. Kick it. Kick it. It's evil. Okay, it looks like that's the same as when we were exploring before. Kick it! That thing was made to be evil. Are we gonna pick it up and use it as a flashlight? Oh my god, please tell me we do. Huh? Uh huh? Oh, it was because of the battery. The battery is dead. I don't have ca uh, candles either. If I could find some batteries, maybe I can use the flashlight again. Oh, oh, cool. Kick it. Drop kick it. In the face. We gotta keep checking over here because at some point we're gonna be led this way because of the sound. Can we just walk into it? It's gonna just tell us we can't see in the dark. Can't see well in the darkness. <laughs> this one opens. There's a diary. Oh, come on. Okay, well. I feel like a ghost is going to have to tell us where to go, because where the hell are we going to find batteries in the darkness? There we go. Everybody leaves me. Everybody goes away. I'm alone in the darkness. I'm lonely. Oh, oh, we're trapped on the floor. Oh no. I can't see. <laughs> ah! Come on! Go away! I'm. Okay. This might be the first hard part of this fucking game. I don't have a... I don't have a chance to catch my breath. No. She is like constantly attacking. We're jumping down. We're jumping down the hall. Jump down the hall. No, jump down the hall. <laughs> I thought that's what we were gonna have to do. Okay, we need to. Can we just chill here for a second, looking at the door? Does this count as standing still? I think it counts as standing still. Okay. <laughs> Kick the fucking doll again. Bro, she was attacking non-stop. Like, as soon as the first attack was done, she was already attacking again. 
I, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> okay, this is open now. She's done. She's done attacking us. That sucked. Okay. I don't know why she's so mad at us. She says every, like, she's mad because she's being abandoned by everyone, apparently, but... Like, I didn't abandon her. At least, not by choice. I'm recording it. Shh. Mm hmm. Hello, Reiko. You look well today. My friend from the chat room said that she would come visit me here. It makes me so happy. I can't wait. Is that so? That's very nice of her. Make sure you're in good spirits for your visitor. I will. See you later. See you later. Okay. So I put that part together. We were on our way to visit her, and then we got hit by the truck. And that's when we got, like, rushed in. We won't be able to pick that up. Because we can't see in the darkness. I don't know what that says. <laughs> but, yeah. We're on our way to visit her, and that's when we got hit by the truck. And that's what um, Chio seen. She's seen us getting rushed into the hospital on a gurney. There's no cassette recorder. Take the battery. There's no tape in here. Oh, well. Maybe I can use these batteries. It's like these are dead too. The radio used them all up. I wanted to help. I wanted to help her. Okay. Some of the voice acting in this isn't that great, but it is originally in Japanese, so... They probably didn't have much of a budget for English voice actors. That's fine. There was a there was a few books. Okay. Ah! I didn't think we could actually walk in. <laughs> well, we got our first game over. I wanted to see what would happen. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, so, don't die. <laughs> Let's see you back at where we were before. I wanted to help. I wanted to help her. Good for you. Alright, we're back. I had to go through, uh, all the way... From our last save it wasn't great it wasn't too far but i had to do that little fight again where she was non-stop attacking us i got a few um a few of those perfect blocks or whatever that just makes them go away there's a very small window for when that button happens turn on the faucet but nothing comes out was warped and cannot be opened. Also, a few of the doors just lead to voids. Because I opened a few... Uh, I opened another one looking for... The... One tape spot that I had to record. And yeah, a few of them are... 
just lead to nothingness. Kyoko, June 19th. Michael's mother gave her a cell phone when she came to visit. Kyoko. Oh, this is the nurse. Um, a hospital allows the use of cell phones in the lounge. It seems that in this day and age, one needs to be able to use a cell phone in a hospital as well. Her mother mentioned her upcoming busy schedule and that it would be difficult for her to come visit Raiko again. So, at the very least, they could still be in touch uh, with the cell phone. Raiko surprised me with how full of life she was when she called her mother to test the new phone. She had a wonderful time. Uh, smile. Uh, oh, so that's what we kept hearing. We kept hearing Raiko calling her mom, but I don't know if her mom was actually answering? It seemed like she was just leaving voicemails. Another diary. Memento from when that child was alive? I don't know if it's worth checking any of these. I haven't really found anything in any of them. But like, yeah, I'm just gonna leave. We can probably find like the key, the phone keys or whatever, but sometimes it doesn't turn. I'm not too worried about that since I'm not really sure what it does in the first place. I think there was a diary in here. Can you, can you, thank you. Kyoko's Diary 4, November 17th. When I went to the hospital room today, there was a cracked cell phone on the floor. Recently, she's been having trouble getting in touch with her mother, and when she does, she only uh, they only fight about it. She probably got upset and threw the cell phone in frustration. I'm sure Raiko regrets it. She knows how busy her uh, with work her mother is. I wonder why she's in the hospital in the first place, though. She didn't say why. I told her I would ask the head nurse if Raiko would be able to use the hospital phone. Of course she wouldn't be able to use it uh, whenever she wanted, but she would be allowed to use it for 20 minutes before lights out. She could also chat from the PC in the lounge. So maybe I'll teach her how to use it tomorrow. That's when she got onto the thing. This child, how long has she been at this hospital? After such a long stay, she must have... died? Been lonely? Board. There are many options. None of them end with her living. If I don't find anything in this last one, I'm not searching these anymore. I lied. I'm going to search this one. And then I'm not going to search them anymore. Yeah. Really? This looks like other hospital rooms. Do we go back upstairs? Because we have, um... Okay, spooky whatever you were. See, there's a lot of doors like that. Hello? Ah, thank you. Kyoko's Diary 5. Have we found one in two? Summer 19th. There hasn't been much word from Rackless Mother. She hardly seems to answer the phone. It always goes straight to voicemail. Yeah, she was leaving voicemails. I hope that she's okay. Rico's health really seems to get better whenever she receives a, call, receives a call from her mother. I was hoping she would be strong enough for an operation soon, but she's been down recently. Like, when I first met her. Every time I go see Raiko, she seems to get lonelier and lonelier. I wish there was something I could do. The nurse was watching over the child, even after she became a ghost. She continued to protect her. 
Where? This way? There we go. Oh, Reiko, come over here. Mr. Kishibe. Let me introduce you to Mrs. Kishibe. Hello, I'm Reiko Asagiri. Hello there. I'm Shio Kishibe. I've heard all about you. Reiko's really something. She's teaching me how to use a computer. Is that so? Maybe I should take lessons too. Don't be silly. You have Take to teach you. There's a computer in the lounge. You can email or chat with friends who live far away. It's fun. This is where they return your used plates. Let's see. We already found a diary in here, so I doubt there's anything else in here, but it doesn't mean we can't take a little look over everything. That's the exit, so we go this way. It's funny how things are just leading to voids now. Oh, this is where we uh, popped up this time. And that's where we just found the phone. Hmm. Oh, here we go. There are two computers. That's smart, locking them in the thing like that. There are two computers. This plant is dried out. Oh, oh, the plants are starting to die. I think that's why we keep looking at the plants because they they used they were really healthy in other places, and here they seem to start drying out. <laughs> that was silly. Diary six, March fourteenth. It's been one week since Raiko's operation. Her progress is less than ideal. There were no complications with the surgery itself, but her condition doesn't seem to be improving at all. Conversely, it seems that the stress from the operation has left her worse off. She spent the last hour crying into my arms, but she's sleeping quietly right now. Her eyes are still puffy, though. It's irritating that the only comfort I can give her is holding her close. Also, it seems that she's checking her chat site less frequently. I wonder what happened. Maybe I'll take a look next time. Reading this diary. I can almost feel the nurse's emotions. She's trying to tell me something. Oh, is that how the nurse ended up here? Ended up dying? I said I wasn't going to search these. Ah! There's a handprint. At least we found something in that one. Nothing great, but it was a handprint. So that's how the nurse ended up here. She was she checked the chat room. And I wonder if she kept checking the chat room and that's how she ended up. There's a door here. Or there's supposed to be. There, we can look at it now. It's a spooky toy. Enlightening. What was that? It looked like a bunch of paw prints. We haven't seen the cat in a while. <gasps> oh, there you are. I was just talking about you. Hmm. 302. Wait, was it 302? Or was it this one?
Here. Could have been this one. <laughs> that one closed so fast. Okay, let's save again. And then we're gonna walk in 302. This time. I thought it could be different since the cat walked in there, but I was wrong. <laughs> we died again. Lied to me, cat. Or maybe you didn't. I don't know. I don't know what happened. <laughs> it walked into a room and then it, when the door ba opened back up, it was just dead. We're already fine. <gasps> ah! Read the diary, then save. Coco's diary number three, September 12th. I saw Raiko having a good time. I asked her if anything good happened, and it turns out she, um, she was using the cell phone to chat. It seems she got the idea from a magazine article that was in the waiting room. She's been so happy. Sometimes I even hear her humming. When I glance at my phone, I had a message. It was from Raiko. She sent me a message when I was so close by. She must really like her cell phone. This may be the best way for her to connect, uh, connect to the outside world right now. Oh, it turned off. Oops. Seems like they wanted to guide me. Maybe they want me to read the diary. Yeah, we've been reading the diaries. <laughs> we just didn't find that one. Because I don't think we were able to open that door before. But yeah, we've been reading the diaries, girl. We just didn't find that one first. That cell phone ringing sound reminds me of Spongebob. Um, the one game. We'll go, we'll go to it soon. We're looking around. Oh, I think we started in here before. Operating table has been used in a long time. Well, it looks like someone's on there, so I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, something actually fell over. Cute. Glass is full of cracks. Spooky, spooky. Creature from the Krusty Krab. That's the that's the game it reminds me of. This the phone ringing. Because I think it has the same one in it. Well, it's in there. Okay. Yeah, they're both ringing. Cool. Hello? EMT's radioed in. We have a patient on the way. Make preparations on the first floor. I think that's talking about us. I need to get to the first floor, but how do I get there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why is this creepy doll here? Business card! Yoshi. Business card. I should call this number. Or should I call this number? No. Okay, we gotta find the phone. It's usually right. These documents that were there uh, to be sent to another hospital. They're usually right here. I 
has been inside drawers recently, though. Opening these drawers because they're a new type of drawer. That also had nothing. Oh, wait, there's one more. Something? Nothing. Was this plant all dry and crinkly? Yup. Oh my god, more drawers. Can't read that. Again, if you know what that says, let me know. Because Google Translate has not been working. I don't know if it's the font or what, but it has not been working. It's a list of office procedures. Ha! Ah. He's an angry ghost. He's like, don't touch my phone. Correct. I guess the... Here, I want to check the rest. I'm already here. I might as well check them. Like, don't touch my phone. Oh, oh. I'm dead. I don't need it, but don't touch it. I'm just hiding in the desk to jump scare you. Oh. Dude, why do you have so many freaking cupboards and drawers and stuff that have nothing in them? Oh, here we go. Kyoko's Diary. Why do you have Kyoko's Diary? July 14th. Mr. Kashibi passed away today at 3.50. Oh, that's sad. I will never be able to forget his smile. This was four years ago. Because it's, um, Chio's deal said, I'm pretty sure Chio's story said that she's been dealing with it for four years. I'll never be able to forget his smile. Oh my God, I feel bad. Um, and when he said he felt like he had a nude grandchild, I've cried for many patients that I've seen in my career, but this is the first time I've ever cried this hard. It's embarrassing for a nurse when she has to be comforted by her colleagues, but I couldn't help it. Seeing you're only human. You're not like made of stone. You're you're good girl. Crying's good. Seeing Raiko crying hysterically, clutching Mr. Kashibi's bed was just unbearable. Ooh. Kashibi, both Kashibi and the nurse are connected to the child? Yes. <laughs> Girl, uh, you are seeing what I've been seeing. Like, I've been seeing a little bit more, but like, put it together. They're like besties. Hey, the entrance. Is this the first floor? Yes. There's only three floors. I guess we couldn't get into the second floor office, so it could have been that, I guess. But that was a nurse's station. Okay, we got a new save. Yay! Check the bathrooms. Oh my god, we can go in the bathroom. Or not. Why let you? Why even let me try? Is it because this one opens? Why even let me try? The, t the other two floors didn't let me try. Doesn't seem to be powered. Um, it just dinged. I think it's powered. I think it's powered. It's warped and can't be opened. The second floor is warped and can't be opened too. Is there a basement? Mm -hmm. We would need to... I'm thinking that there's a basement that we can't get to right now. And we don't know about. And we drop a phone down the shaft on the third floor. And then we call that and we'll end up in the basement. But like I said, we need two phones in order to do that. Or else we'll be trapped if we throw our only phone. Oh, it's one of those. Thank <laughs> you. 
Likely a fracture of the left leg. Bruise on the left torso. Patient is in significant pain. She suffered some head trauma, but the Ooh. patient remains alert. Can you hear me? Respond if you can. Okay, that was for us again. <gasps> Realizations! Oh, her eye twitched a little bit. Oh god, we got hit so hard our shoe flew off! This hospital... When I got into that accident, this is where I was taken. You look better today. How do you feel? Hmm. Yeah. Can I... <laughs> can I yeah. ask you something? What is it? The day of the accident. I was... I was supposed to meet somebody here at, at this hospital. I met them in the chat room. I only know their screen name. I'm pretty sure that they were staying here at the hospital. The screen name was Koroneko. Do you know who that is? Yes. That patient actually left the hospital a few days ago. Oh, she left. Really? I'm sorry, though. I can't give you any more information regarding a patient. Totally fair. I understand. Was that us dead? No, that didn't look like our hair. Who was that? Oh yeah, Kyoko. She was the nurse in charge of me. But why did Kyoko become a ghost? I'm guessing she went to the chat room and got trapped here. Otherwise, I don't know. Hello? I didn't think that you'd pick up. You're at Kurumiya Hospital, right? Yes. Why are you calling on this phone? I was going to transport to the hospital. Don't worry about that for now. Listen to me. There are many locations within the Mnemonic Abyss, but they all share a single origin. The Kurumiya Hospital. What do you mean? Basically, whoever's been dragging people into the Mnemonic Abyss through the Black Page is there. <sighs> Makoto? <laughs> Hello? Who brought us here to the mnemonic abyss? Mnemonic abyss. I feel like that's obvious again. It's her! Wait, down? I don't like being alone. It's her. I'm so lonely. That's why I brought you here. You're going to become a part of this world. Well, that's rude. the button. I pressed it too early. Then 
then she attacks. Hers is much faster. Oh, I think she's done. Well, we're gonna save. Because... Oh, that's more static, I think, that we have to record. Sad, but you don't go around killing people Maybe she's because of that. Like everybody else. Maybe she didn't mean what she said. She didn't really care about me. I trusted her. Do we really want to go up to her? Take your shoes off at a hospital in Japan? I don't think so. Is there something over here? Maybe they go over your shoes? That would make sense. Kyoko's Diary 9, July 26. Raiko's condition is quite serious. She gets thinner and thinner each day. She's all but stopped eating. No matter how hard I press, she doesn't seem to have the appetite. I think one of the reasons is that she hasn't been able to get a hold of her mother at all. Actually, there's been an issue with the accounting department since she missed last month's payment. I'm heard about her mother. Well, when I went to see Raiko just now, she told me to leave her alone, but I began to just stroke her hair in silence, and she let me. She's just being stubborn. She must be feeling very lonely. She told me that next week an internet friend was coming to see her. Oh. Seems like the only thing she has to look forward to. I hope that it gives her an opportunity to cheer up. Meeting a friend from the internet. That's you, dummy! I'm not going in there. Oh, is this her waiting at the door? For us? Okay. Why can we come in here? It doesn't seem like there is anything. Aha! Number 10, August 1st. I don't know what to do. My colleague Hina was complaining about Raiko's recent attitude. Her illness isn't getting better, and it's taking a toll on her psychologically. Sorry. Uh, oftentimes she takes it out on the nurses. It really puts me in a difficult position. It seems that Hina had built up a lot of stress, so I just let her vent, but Raiko overheard her. I was so careless. She hasn't talked to me since. Even worse, now she just throws the food on the floor. We used to be so close. I'm not sure what we'll ever be able to salvage our relationship now. I left her. I left Draco all alone. No, it's not your fault, girl. She was I taking it out on you for no for reason. When she needed me most. She wouldn't let you be there, though. 
Kyoko, did she lie when she said that Kurokeno, Kuroneko had left the hospital? Oh, did she lie? That would be bad. Because I don't know what date we were supposed to come here. But yeah, like, if she lied about her... Because the stress are used for moving patients. Also, if we were supposed to meet her, why didn't we get her real name? I don't think we'll, they'd let us visit her if we were just like, Oh yeah, we only know her screen name, Karoneko. Oh, but that's because she was waiting in the entrance for us. So we would have found her there. We're saving a lot. Yeah, I think that's supposed to be her waiting for us. Is the elevator not going to be in an abyss anymore? Oh no, there's a key. There's a key. There's a key. A key. Is this the key to the second floor nurse's office? Girl, why'd you walk into the abyss like that? Okay, second floor is not Yoshi. Kyoko. Please be the right number. Yeah. <laughs> Hello? I wonder if I would drop the phones, but we don't drop anything else. Probably is because the phones are what's transporting us. Probably. This gross little doll. Okay, the laptop should be... We're just going to save a bunch just in case. Um, we're going to get attacked again. Maybe there's a phone in there. Then we're going to come back up, drop it down the shaft, and go to the basement. Yeah, see, we can't even try these bathrooms. That was weird. Thought that was gonna lead to something. I'm not checking out. Number seven. They're out of order! I heard that internet forums and chat rooms were quite harsh, but... It's quite shocking to actually see it for yourself, especially when someone you know is being targeted. How could they write such horrible things? Having spent so much time in the hospital, disease is just part of Raiko's daily life. Were they? Oh god. So it makes sense that there would be many topics about it, but they tease and harass her. They don't know what kind of life she has to live, or her family situation. Does that mean they can say whatever they want? It's just horrible. Oh wow, I didn't know that. Chat room, could it be? I thought she had a good time on the chat room.
There has to be something more important in here than just the diary. There's a glove. No, not the glove. Maybe not. Maybe it's just the diary. Can we look at these? Yeah. Fine. I'll open it. See, we can't. Why? Why not read those? But we can read the ring of a hospital in a room that we're never gonna go into. Wonder why the door downstairs is missing from over here. It is made up of memories, so I wonder if. Wait, is that something? Oh, it's just the top of the box. I just I wonder if it's because no one went over there. So they just don't actually remember that room. You have no phone. Wait, what? Ah. We didn't pick it back up. Okay, back down. <laughs> Maybe that's why nothing happened. <laughs> it's a nice little detail that we have to pick the phone back up. Something went by on the left. There we go. I guess we needed the phone for this to happen? We're in that person? To that person? Date, 27th. 7.05pm. Uh, the sticky one. Kuroneko? The sickly one. Sticky. Sickly? I guess she does mention that hospital a lot. It's like... What am I supposed to say to her? Yeah, I guess it's kind of a downer. Just doesn't have many friends in the hospital. I'm sure it's tough, but I don't want to feel bummed all the time. It's kind of tiring dealing with her. Maybe she's just making it up as a joke. Yeah, I wonder about that too. Some people do weird stuff on the internet. People do weird stuff. Do do weird stuff on the internet. They'll invent stuff so people will feel sorry for them. Making it up? That's such a mean thing to say. Why are you defending her? I think it's lame to say all this stuff, guys. What, not like you know the truth? Maybe your Rin is Kuroneko. Ha! <laughs> oh man, now it all makes sense. Don't be ridiculous. Is it true? Are you having just... Are you having fun being jerks? What, are you the mor uh, morality police or something? This is a chat room, we're just having fun. Yeah, at the expense of others. This is getting too heated, I'm done for today. Machi has left the room. Yeah, me too. Has left the room. I guess that's it for today. Way to drive everyone away. Has left the room. Kuroneko, join the room. Thanks, Rin. Kuroneko left the room. She said thanks for us defending her. This is the chat room I used. Why is this... Kuroneko? Hospital one's pretty long. I'm surprised it hasn't been split up yet. Especially with how short the last one was.
I like how it speeds up as we're going along. Upstairs. Yeah, I like how it sped up as we were going so it didn't have to so we didn't have to just slowly trail behind her. Oh. Oh, this smoke is different. It's it's light. <laughs> She's just looking back and forth a lot. Oh, Reiko, there you are. Oh, you look well today. It's almost time for your tests. Come on, the doctor is waiting on the first floor. I wonder if she did lie about her leaving. It just costs people money. I can't help with anything. Mom would be happier if I just went away. I bet that's what everybody thinks. Don't say that. Yeah. Some people say mean things, but everybody's not like that. You're just saying that. I was happy to make friends online, but now it makes me sad. Yeah, but you're still here. Ignore the peanut gallery. I'll come meet you. It'll be nice to talk in person. R really? Yeah, I'll come to the hospital. You're really gonna, gonna come here? Yeah, I promise. We'll talk as long as you want. Let's use a private chat room so strangers don't interrupt us. Thanks. I'll be waiting for you. Oh, and that's when she started feeling cheery. cheery. It's just as I thought, Kiraneko. My promise to meet was Raiko Atsugiri. Yes. <laughs> I guess you needed concrete evidence. And I... Got hit by a truck. I'm so fucking selfish. I promised I'd come, but I got into that accident. She's remembering something from the hospital. <gasps> no! oh. Holy shit! I don't believe it. I, I thought it was a dream. But they were my memories. Kuroneko. Is, is that Kuroneko? Okay, she didn't lie, but she didn't say the whole truth either. Fuck. Seiko is still waiting. You're the only person who can help her. Fuck. Waiting, Kuroneko is still waiting? Zam. Do we go to the first floor? Where's our flashlight?
I thought maybe we dropped it from the shock, but where the fuck is our flashlight? There we go. There it is. There we go. I was right. Ha! So you were Kuraneko. Will you listen? Listen. Listen to what I have to say. I didn't break our promise. I was on my way here that day. It's true. But... I got into an accident. I was taken... taken to this hospital. The funny thing is, I was in the bed right next to yours. If... If I had woken up a bit sooner... But... It's just an excuse, I know. I couldn't keep our promise. I'm sorry. I know it's too late, but I'm sorry. I'm so sorry I wasn't there. It's only... only a matter of time before I become part of this world. Then I'll be here for you. With Koroneko. You won't... You won't be sad anymore. You can forget... Your bitterness. Now she seems unimpressed. I wonder if when her story ends, though, we continue with Makoto. Liars. Everybody is a liar. Everybody's happier if I go away. Liars. Everybody is a liar. Everybody's happier if I go away. I didn't see where she went. Oh, there you are. Everybody is a liar. Liars. Everybody is a liar. Everybody is happy. I 
think I picked the right room. She's just in the nurse's position now. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's how it ends? Do I answer? I'll never forgive. Never. Well, well fucking rude. That was cool. After the credits. Oh, she's okay. Grandma, it's me, Take. Oh. I'm so glad. Hold on, I'll go get everyone. I wonder if we play as Take. Mom, Grandma's awake. Aww. She's in the same hospital everyone's been in. Oh my god, that's much happier than what just happened. I'm tearing up, oh my god. <laughs> Received a hidden chapter. Fuck. <laughs> okay, so that was the first playthrough of Calling. I think I want to keep going. I don't know how many episodes this has been so far, but I want to get the true ending. I'm actually really invested in this, and I don't like how that ended. <laughs> But yeah, it doesn't do anything that it shouldn't. It doesn't put you up against hard, like, fights with ghosts, even though the only thing you can do is shake to get rid of them. It doesn't have you running around doing nonsense. Like, you don't have to do anything crazy quickly that requires you to look in a certain direction right away or you're dead. Or, like... It doesn't require you to run down narrow hallways and quickly turn, and it it's a nice... I, I like the story so far. The ending is not the true ending. There are multiple endings, and I, 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 I want to try and get them. So, that was very sad. <laughs> that was a very sad ending. I'm happy that Chio woke up 
and survived that brought tears to my that, that was a happy that was a happiness it, within the sadness yeah thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it if you want to see more let me know about down below like the video and subscribe i really enjoyed playing this and i hope you enjoyed watching it